Clonarian is a Category 2 by our analysis on the Stafford Symptom Scale and is currently located at 15.0 degrees south, 148.4 degrees east as of 9 a.m. Eastern Australia time this March the 4th. Currently, by our analysis, Nerian has winds of 105 miles per hour or 170 kilometers per hour, a pressure of 960 millibars, moving east-southeast at 9 miles per hour, and has a CDPS stage rating of 5. Here's a breakdown on that. This is a, this is a high-end stage 5 rating with wind speed as major, storm size significant to major, rainfall potential just below significant, and with the overall threat to land being significant to major. Stage 5 means that devastating damage is possible wherever the storms make landfall. Here's the current wind fields of Cyclone Nerian, 140 nautical miles to the northeast, 115 nautical miles to the northwest, and 75 nautical miles to the southern, for the southern quadrants of the storm right now. Here's the current distances in miles and kilometers. Cairns, 194 miles. McKay, 459 miles. Brisbane, 949 miles. Cuevo in New Caledonia, 1187. And Numa, 1342. That is also in New Caledonia. Uh, as of right now, we do not have any alerts in effect for New Caledonia, but the Bureau of Meteorology in Australia has lifted the cyclone warnings for uh, portions of northeastern Queensland, Australia. Here's the current intensity estimates. Force 13, again, we are running with 105 miles per hour. The JTWC, RAM, and AMSU are sitting at 90 miles per hour. ADT is at 85 miles per hour, and SATCON is at 80 miles per hour. Here's our current forecast cone made by our very own Ethan Bruning. This was made a bit before this video update was recorded, uh, so the intensity is a bit lower than current. Uh, but you can see a peaking in about a day and a half at 140 miles per hour with our current forecast. Moving closer to New Caledonia as it begins its weakening process. Uh, if it does make landfall, we're looking at a 115 mile per hour landfall. Uh, after New Caledonia, uh, rapid weakening as day five, we expect it to be extra tropical as you see it goes off the map. Here's the current sea surface temperatures for Narian. You can see very warm where it is right now and ahead of it, it's very warm. Uh, really, past New Caledonia is really where it starts to drop off significantly. Uh, but right now, we're looking at a very strong system that's still intensifying at this time, and we expect to intensify even further. Here's the HWRF wind swath. You can see most of the uh, strongest winds staying out to sea before New Caledonia and weakening before it gets to New Caledonia. Rainfall there, you can see uh, maximum amounts in New Caledonia is about 8 inches. Here's a multi-model diagnostic comparison. Most models are saying intensification will continue. Uh, most models saying above 80 knots at this point. Wind shear will be lowering over the next day or two before rising as we get into March 6th and 7th. Here's the tracks. You can see most of them staying south of New Caledonia, but they do get very uncomfortably close. Sea surface temperatures staying plenty warm for the time being, and the mid-level relative humidity staying fairly high for this storm's duration. Here's current infrared of Nerian looking very good. It's got very high cloud tops right now. Uh, very good looking for the storm it is right now. Here's water vapor. You can see just how moist the storm is with those blobs of convection. Dry air to the southwest, not really going to be an issue for this storm. And here's visible just now coming into visible view, looking very good. You can see a little bit of maybe an eye feature trying to show up on visible. And here's infrared again. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Force 13 for more updates on Tropical Cyclonarian.